You have like, um, and however you want to say these, mm -hmm. uh, you have a vision of three th thrones oh, and you also okay. have an experience at the Western Wall. Sure. I'll start with the throne one first. I was, okay. So uh, in 2018 is really when, is, so I was saved in 2016. In 2018, I went to a conference my friend invited me to, to called uh, One Thing, which was hosted by IHOP. It was their last like big conference called One Thing. And um, I, I was still like stuck in the world, you know, reading the word. I mean, I had one Christian friend at the time told me, I, I said, well, I'm like living with my boyfriend. I'm like getting convicted, but the Bible's, you know, the Bible says I'm not supposed to and all this stuff. And she goes, oh, the Bible's outdated. I said, what? The blood of Jesus, by the way, that's not true. The Bible, every word is living and real. Come on. So in 2018 is when I really, really, really just real, when the Lord had, took me, actually took me to hell in a dream and I repented. And that's when everything changed in my life. I was really, really finally born again, like truly really wow. born again. And I'm standing, this is around the time when I went to this conference, I'm standing at this conference, we're worshiping. It was the most anointed, wonderful worship. And we were just, I was just praising the Lord and worshiping the Lord. And I had this vision. It was really far away. It was like, I don't know why, but it, it was in the top. It was on the right hand corner of so far away. I saw, and I zoomed in because I'm like, what am I looking at? So, and, but I see, and it starts zooming in and I see this, it was like, um, a courthouse. I saw the white pillars. I knew it was a court. And I saw three thrones, three white thrones. And I saw in the middle, it was like a, a bubble. And I knew it was the father. It was just a big, like I couldn't see. It was like a haze around. I couldn't see what was in the middle, but I knew it was the father. On my left, his right, I saw Jesus sitting there. And it was a still image. It wasn't a video. It was like a still shot. And I saw Jesus with his hands right on the throne. They were just staring and watched, watching the worship. And I was looking and the third throne was empty. And I'm like, why is that? Like I'm worshiping. I'm like, I'm like, what? why is that third throne empty? And I'm worshiping. I'm like, why is that third throne empty? And I said, Lord, why is that third throne empty? And I heard him say, because the Holy Spirit is on earth. Mm. And I thought, oh, that's why Jesus said, uh, it's better that I go and I ascend and send the Holy Spirit here. I thought, whoa, I never, I didn't really realize that the Holy Spirit lives within us. He's in earth. Mm -hmm. You know, when the church is going to be called up, it's when all hell is going to break loose, but you know, so tribulation, but yeah, the Holy Spirit is, is on earth with us. That's why even in Genesis, you know, the, the spirit of God hovers over the darkness, the spirit, the right. Holy, the Holy Spirit lives, lives here, but praise God that the Lord, you know, died, resurrected, left and sent the Holy Spirit to live on, live in us outpour on all, you know, mm. on all flesh, like Joel chapter two. So that was really cool revelation. And I literally fell so in love with the Lord. And I literally felt my heart. I, I knew, I know as an angel, I didn't see an angel, but I felt my heart, my cold, broken heart. I saw a beating, beautiful red heart being placed into me. 